Sam was big, but he knew how to cover me without crushing me. How to move down my body with his as he held his weight on an elbow, a knee, a palm. Now he let go of my wrists and tipped my head back with his nose so he could get at my throat and neck. His mouth skimmed the scoop neck of my t-shirt. When his tongue darted out to lick the hollow of my throat, my back arched all on its own. My nipples hardened at, one, hardened at once. The spot between my legs began its subtle, familiar pulse. He returned to my mouth. Sam's kisses were like his songs, different every time he sang them, even though the words and the melodies were the same. He had a certain trick he did with his tongue and teeth, a sort of nibbling lick. He used it only once in a while, and each time it was un an unexpected change of key in a song you thought you knew, like John Mayer covering Marilyn Manson. <laughs> it drove me crazy. He did it then, and my hips pumped up. My crotch connected with his belt buckle, and I wasn't going to turn that down. I grabbed his ass with both hands and tucked my heels around the backs of his thighs to hold him in place. He only had to move a little bit to give me the delicious pressure I craved. He knew what I was doing and smiled through his kisses. He pushed forward, giving me what I wanted, though the position had to feel awkward for him. Sam slid his hand beneath my shirt and deftly unhooked my bra. He covered my breast immediately, kneading gently before lightly pinching my nipple to its peak. He did the same to the other, then pushed up on his hand and tucked my t-shirt to my waistband. The thin fabric pulled tight over my breasts and outlined my upright nipples. God, I love it when you look like that. I wish you never wore a bra. The visible evidence of my own arousal turned me on more, too. I'm sure that would go over well. Here, let me give you a remembrance card, and oh, while I'm at it, let me poke out your eyes. Uh, she's a funeral director, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Sam rubbed his hand over the curves and bumps outlined by my shirt. I'd love it. At least don't wear one when we're alone. Wear tight t-shirts and no bra just for me. For you? Hmm. You might be able to convince me. Yeah? How? Sam's lips tugged a cloth-covered nipple. I reached between us to cup him through his jeans. Give me this whenever I want it. Heat hit my fingers even through the denim. Sam pushed his erection into my palm. Deal. What do I have to do to get you to pack my lunch? I laughed. Forget it. How about one day for every orgasm? Orgasms are not bargaining chips, Sam. <laughs> Yet I was smiling as I said it because he'd begun working his way down my body to the hem of my shirt and pulling it up with his teeth to get to the soft flesh beneath. What's the most number of times you've ever come? with someone else? He stopped and got up on his hands to look at me. You're killing me here. Yes, with someone else. I know you can go off like a rocket ship a hundred times in a row when it's you and your bullet. Stop giving me a complex. Sorry. You don't sound sorry, you sound smug. I'm sure I meant to protest, but just then Sam unbuttoned my jeans with his teeth and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> he slid his hands under my ass to lift me up enough that he could slide off my jeans. And my panties came down too, everything tangling with my socks around my ankles. I helped him tug them off and laughed at the face he made as he tried to figure out the tangle of material. Why are women's clothes so complicated? He grumbled from his place at my feet. He didn't wait for an answer before tossing my clothes to the floor. I was bare from the waist down and he was fully dressed. <laughs> Unacceptable. Take yours off. Sam stood and watched as I lifted my shirt off over my head and threw it to add to the pile on the floor. Beneath my skin, the couch cushions were nubbled rough. I shifted, crooking my finger. Come on, Sammy, naked. It's Sam, he protested, but his fingers had already worked open the buttons on his shirt. Sam shrugged out of his shirt and undid his belt and the zipper. His jeans gaped open, but the hem of his t-shirt hung down too far. He bent and pulled off his socks one at a time, and I knew he was deliberately teasing me. A sexy bump and grind strip tease would have, me, have made me giggle. Sam's deliberately slow removal of each layer of his clothes was made more erotic by its pure masculinity and normality. I wasn't watching some rent boy tantalize with glimpses of flesh. I was watching Sam strip down to all his naked glory as if it was the most natural thing in the world for him to do in front of me. God bless denim, I murmured, watching the way his belly tightened when he pulled his t-shirt off over his head. Where do you find jeans that long, anyway? Big and tall. Sam grinned and tucked a thumb into the waistband, dipping it just low enough for me to see the sleek, dark tuft of his pubic hair. An incoherent noise slipped from my throat. He pushed his jeans a little lower, and the briefs he wore beneath slid, too. Down, 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 each long leg, the material moved until at last he stood and kicked off the jeans. Naked at last, a hand on his cock as it grew. 
Are you going to fuck me on my couch? I scooted back onto the pillows. Nope. Sam's penis was getting harder as I watched. No? Confused, I swung my legs around to put my feet on the floor. Sam stopped me before I could stand. No, I'm not going to fuck you on the couch. I'm going to go down on you on the couch. Sit back. I did, voiceless. Sam kissed my mouth as his hand went between my legs, grinding me. He didn't waste time kissing down my body or lingering on my thighs. He went straight from my mouth to between my legs, parting me with his thumbs to suck gently on my clit. The electric shocked force of it forced another in inarticulate noise from me. I arched instinctively before I could force myself to still, but I'd already wrapped my fingers in Sam's thick, dark hair. I wanted to look down, to see him there between my legs. The pleasure forced my eyes to close as it parted my mouth in a silent sigh. Sam paused with a shuddering sigh to murmur something sweet, something sexy, something like, oh, fuck you, tastes good. Something that sounded, that something that said in the context of anything but sex would sound fake, but I didn't doubt he meant it. He pushed my legs open wider and used the flat of his tongue in smooth, even strokes. The pressure, the heat, <clears throat> The wetness of his mouth were perfect. He didn't pinpoint my clit or drill me with his tongue. Instead, he kept the pressure steady and constant, just above my clit, using my own shifting flesh to further arouse me. White hot pleasure balled in my gut and burst. I came the first time.